Let's stoke the flames by adding a custom fuel item to Minecraft. Minecraft modding courses with close to 100 topics ranging from custom tools and armor to custom block entities all the way to custom mobs linked in the description below. Oh ho ho! We find ourselves back in the Teller once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom fuel item to Minecraft and that is going to be, well, actually more straightforward than you might think. For a custom fuel item, we will need a custom item class. However, that custom item class can be reused for every subsequent fuel item that you are ever going to make. And this is going to be in the custom package. Right click, new Java class, and we'll call this the fuel item over here. This will extend the item class. And we are going to hover over this, create constructor matching super. We will then add a private int called burn time. We will set this to zero. And we will add a second parameter to the constructor, calling it burn time as well. And we'll call this dot burn time equals to burn time, basically setting the field over here to the value given in the constructor. And then the only thing we need to do is overwrite the get burn time method, making sure we choose the one with the recipe type over here. That is extremely important. And if we do this, we can simply return this dot burn time. And now you can create as many different fuel items as you would want, give them all different burn times, and it's all going to work. So now in the mod items class, we can just create our custom fuel item. So this is going to be a pine cone in this case. I'm unsure how well this would work in real life as a fuel item, but in this case, I think it's going to be okay. And this is going to be a fuel item over here. And instead of a food, it's getting nothing. Instead, it's getting a second parameter, and that is going to be 400. So this is going to be a burn time of 20 seconds as this is in ticks and 20 ticks equals one second. There we go. Quickly added the translation and the item model JSON file and then also copy over the texture that's of course going to be available to you. And those are all of the things except of course, let's not forget to add this to the creative mode tab. And there we go. And now we can jump into the game and put it into a furnace or a blast furnace and see the pine cones burn. All right, fans, is back in Minecraft and let's just take a look. Switch out the coal here for the pine cone and you can see it works absolutely no worries at all. And we can do the same thing in the blast furnace, for example. There we go. It also burns and it should burn for two items, I believe, something like that. And there we go. Actually works perfectly for exactly two items. And that's already it for this tutorial right here. And in the next video right here, we'll add a custom tooltip to our item and blocks. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.